Hello, collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. So, there's some type of obsession with a mystic that has led a group of people in some type of sticky situation. It's like a whole lot of karma going on behind the scenes. Um, and I don't even think these people know, like, how to balance something out. Um, they may be having a hard time with just living normally these days. But there's some type of obsession with a mystic. Um, you're like, you're like nobody these people have ever met. Um, and there's something where it's like, they're trying to trap you in something, but you are someone that is free to be a free being. Um, and it's almost like, so I had this, let me put it this way. I had this dream. It's like a, um, it's a group of men basically after a woman, right? And... You, the the setting of the dream is that you all are in this mansion. The mansion belongs to you. You're living comfortably in your mansion, and these group of men come into your house and they're trying to try to um, snatch you up, basically, kind of kidnap you. And you're running in the mansion, hiding in rooms, locking the doors, switching rooms, and things like that. It's almost like it's a maze. Um, you end up in one room, and then when you know someone is coming towards that room, even though it's locked, you go to another room. But it's like there's a there's an entry in this room to the other room. Uh, but there's this specific man in the dream that is just obsessed with this mystic. Um, it's like he's trying to uh, break down the door, uh, break the locks or something. Um, but this man is just so obsessed. Like I saw a tall dark-skinned man, bald-headed, with like a scar on his head. I think it's like on the left side of his head. Um, But he is just obsessed like this. Like, you know how like uh when people are going through withdrawal, they're like jittery. Like that's how, that's how obsessed like this man is to get to somebody, like to just touch you. Or like it's just so eerie and I don't think this person knows how eerie it is, like how obsessed they are. Um, it, it was just really uncomfortable. Like I was, I'm watching him in the dream, just doing any and everything to get to this woman. And the woman is standing in the room and she's just terrified of this man. Like she doesn't even want him coming close to her, but he's not paying attention to, attention to any of that. He's just focused on getting to this woman and being able to touch her and snatch her up and take her, put her somewhere where he can lock her up and, you know, be able to control her, make her do whatever it is that he wants her to do. Like, I don't, this is like a warlock. The sense that I got from him was like a warlock. This may be someone that ends up, excuse me, ends up getting locked up for a very long time. This could also be someone that has some type of like heart issue I don't know if it's a heart problem or a lung problem, but when someone goes to, like, the court system and it's time to be sentenced, he may try to say, like, or even when the court case starts, he may be someone that says that he has some type of heart issue. He won't be able to last in jail. It's going to be very hard for him, the conditions and things like that. But it's like, you didn't think of, like, <laughs> you didn't think of your heart problems when you were out here doing all these malicious things, trying to get rid of a mystic or trying to control a mystic. How are you going to control a mystic? Like, they have a higher understanding of the world, of the universe, of life than everybody else. Like, they have access into knowledge that other people don't even have. These, these are people that don't care about being part of society. Like, they will turn their backs on society just so they can have that direct connection with Source 24-7 and be able to stick to their path. These are, like, people who are voluntarily outsiders. They don't care about a goddamn thing that society has going on when it comes to the materialistic pleasures of the world. Um, all they care about is that connection to Source. So, I don't... I, I don't know what this man's obsession is with this woman, but baby, I was uncomfortable for her and I was embarrassed for him, like secondhand embarrassment. It's like, sir, are you okay? Obviously, he's not. Let's go ahead and get into this read. Someone that is emotionally manipulative. This is not a genuine friend. They may want to come towards you with some type of false friendship. Some type of false offer. And someone is coming in hot. 
This could be like a King of Cups reverse or a feminine, but they're coming in hot to play with your emotions. Um, they may know that maybe you are not interested in a relationship with them, whether it be platonic or whatever this is. There's something where it's like someone is in some type of uh, unhealthy relationship and may have some type of agreement with another party behind the scenes to come into your energy and give you some type of false offer so that you can let your guards down. But this is a setup. There's something where it's like a group of people are trying to take, I believe it's this mystic. They're trying to take a mystic out. So they're trying to come up with plans on how they can take care of business. They can take care of you without any type of uh, exposure uh, them getting locked up or anything, but they, these people are already going through karma. There's a lot of fighting behind the scenes, and if you really weigh down and burden while they're watching you, you know, stand your ground, move on with life, and it has people really burdening behind the scenes that you have foresight of what a group of people have been doing when it comes to your Ace of Pentacles, trying to put an end to it, but they're going through an ending. There's an ending that's coming to all of these secrets, okay? There's some type of betrayal. Uh, your advisories may be plotting something that they think you don't know but it's going to be exposed to you and this has to do with you having wish fulfillment someone is taking some type of impulsive action to interfere with justice you could be a queen of pentacles um and you are like a wish come through or maybe you're busy manifesting a new reality for yourself but you're someone very gifted very talented in direct connection with source and things like that and these people have a problem with it you could be a very innovative person there's also something i'm picking up on where it's like there's someone some type of feminine energy or this could be a masculine because as you know tarot energy is flu is fluid so there could be like an energy behind the scenes that may dislike you you could be someone very innovative very creative uh overflowing with creativity right and whoever this is like their survival their business relies on ingenuity like being innovative and things like that but for some reason they don't like you they want to copy you they want to be you but they don't like you um so this is putting a problem when it comes to their bag so it's like this is like someone looking for innovative people but they find the machine of innovators like you're the top you're like on the top of innovations like your creativity is on part but this person don't act up royally when it comes to you so it's that well how do i do this how do i go about coming to the towards this person to see if we can work together you're not going to work with this person because they've already done something to you really horrendous um that they cannot recover from so it's like someone looking for the bag but they messed up the bag they're looking for people that are creative. They find the one person that is like the top notch. Like this is someone innovative, always flowing with with uh, ideas and things like that. But the route they took when it comes to you is not something you two can come back from. And I don't think you uh, are more than likely going to have any type of animosity towards this person. I think it's just the, the lack of principle, the lack of respect, the lack of ethics, the lack of morals. Um... When it comes to the situation, how someone handles something, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and get into this tarot reading. But there is someone trying to come towards you to basically manipulate you. Uh, and they may be trying to come in with an offer. Uh, it's a manipulation tactic. When it comes to some type of uh, offer in work, this could be for you to take some type of path that's not even yours. So that they can give you get you off track. Um, and you can end up moving on or moving away from what it is you're supposed to be doing because you're someone that's a healer. The cards came out to see him again, right? You're someone that's a healer. You're a high priestess. You're listening to your intuition just like you're supposed to. So someone coming towards you, you're going to see them a mile away. Like this is another uh, manipulative tactic these people are, uh, are using because there's something where it's like they have plotted on how to take you out. Um, but something didn't go according to plan. So now they're reworking something. 
How can we go into this person? We already know they're very smart. They're going to pick up on everything we're doing. How can we manipulate them so that they can take a different direction and move on, all right, with their life, move on from their destiny, move on from standing up for themselves, not going for the things that they want. It's a whole lot of, like, just trying to figure something out. You're someone that has self-mastered yourself. You could be someone that's very uh, gifted, very spiritual. You could be like a, an ascendant master, like a magician. Um, but you're someone very talented and it may intimidate these people because a lot of the people coming after you are people that are older than you. They consider themselves to be masters of their craft. They've been able to destroy other people's lives before. I'm telling you, you are someone that's a high priestess, upright. Queen of Pentacles in the upright, high priestess, listening to your intuition. But these people feel like they're older than you. They know that more than you do. And we we all know that's not how things work in life. You can be 50 years old and be someone with a, a teenager's mindset, and you could be a teenager and be with a 50 year old's mindset, mature uh, and wise beyond your years. Uh, and obviously, if these people are coming together to try to destroy you, they will know. I mean, they wouldn't know, but we can assume that they are acting like teenagers. Um, acting at children instead of doing things the mature way, handling things the right way, correct? Uh, but there is someone in the justice system or the court system that could be listening to their intuition to balance something out, or there's a queen of pentacles choosing to balance something out as well. Uh, someone may have wanted to come towards you to defeat you, to stop you, to block you. Uh, this is like a narcissist wanting to come towards you. Some Someone is just doing something, and I don't even know what it is they're getting out of it. There's no thrill. There's no success. There's no victory. But someone is trying really hard to take you down, destroy you, steal something from you, block your victory, block your mind, anything you're planning to do. There's someone trying to figure out what it is that you are trying to do behind the scenes as far as new adventures, new opportunities, any type of connections and things like that you have going on. They are trying to destroy that so that they can stop you from moving on. Someone is doing something very malicious. They're very committed to stealing something from you, maybe even smearing your character, defaming your character. This could be someone's wife within a community. It could be a woman with some type of brown hair, hazel eye or brown eyes, whatever this is. But someone is very malicious. Someone could be trying to figure out how to get you caught up in the court system. Something about a uh, cease to desist or something like that. Honey, I don't got time for all of these, these fancy court system words or whatever. Uh, but someone is trying to conjure up some type of court case against you uh, just so that they can have you caught up in the court system. This is a plot by a lot of people on how they can bind you. Because also in the dream, what I got is that this man or this group were trying to get this mystic so that they could bind this person in some way, shape, or form. It's almost like a group of people that are not awakening, trying to bind an ascended master, and we all know that's not how that works, okay? Uh, so someone also, there could be someone in this community that went and sought some type of advice on how to move on or how to have some type of victory in this situation, and they've told them that they need to move on. They stand to lose everything. Uh, they're being exposed. People may end up separating themselves from this person. Uh, or someone may end up being put out of a community. Maybe they didn't know what this person was doing behind the scenes. A lot of manipulative tactics to make something or someone seem like what it, it what they are not or, or what it is not. Okay? So this is someone telling people that you could be uh, retarded. You could be incompetent. Something is wrong with you. You're uneducated. You are lying about yourself. You don't know who who you are or you don't know what it is you're doing, something of that nature. So there's some type of defamation going on. Um, and someone may be afraid for the truth to come out because they're going to end up with some type of court case and they know that you're going to defeat them horribly and be able to get away or get out of some type of situation they've tried to put you in. So someone has put themselves in quite a sticky situation and they're trying to figure out 
how how to keep going keep something going even though like a queen of pentacles may already have some type of court case going on she is still trying to figure out how she can stop you so she's more focused on you uh how she can sneak you how she can destroy you because this is someone that's like in their lower energy so they're trying to figure out how they can get away with something uh, coming up against your plan. Someone may be under an investigation. If someone is in the army, the Marines or something like that, if someone's husband is in the Marines, uh, they have access to information like other people have done because they're surface people. They've been abusing their power and all of that is about to come out. There could be something about a house as well, a job position. It's just too much going on. Um, but you are taking charge of your situation. You're someone very disciplined and choosing to move on. You're someone that's very nurturing, a motherly figure. Maybe this is what this person has been trying to stop people from seeing. Like they don't want people to see you as someone being very genuine, someone being very kind. You're like the, the, uh, like, uh, the earth, you got, you, you have like that earth mother energy about yourself. Um, and it has like a group of masculine that just may be obsessed with you. And this woman, whoever this is, is obsessed with you as well. You could have another queen of pentacles that is just, um, maybe she's trying to turn a new leaf or something. I'm picking up on a whole lot of different energies within this situation. And it just does not make sense to me how a group of people can come together and no one in there can think to say, we should not be doing this. This is weird. This is awkward, but there could be a lot of money on the line. I don't know if someone thought they were going to get some type of job position that's not be, not being given to them. There could be like a kick of pentacles that's coming towards you. Maybe wants to have some type of one-on-one -on -one with you to balance things out and be able to move forward with you. Some type of concession. Someone may have a lot of emotions for you um, that they've been hiding for a long time. I don't know what this situation has to do with. Maybe someone is coming in to give you some type of money. And I don't know if this is something genuine. With this five of swords to the seven of swords energy, it looks like something is escalating. Someone don't went from just being a narcissist trying to figure out how they can take something from you to taking action. Like they don't came up with a plan and everything on how they can come in and get you caught up in some type of situation. You could be a queen of pentacles as well. And also what I'm picking up on is someone coming in to give you some type of financial assistance just to have you trapped in a situation. They say, see, we told you she was a part of it. We told you he was a part of it. Um, they have some. They took some money from us, right? They agreed to this situation, but the whole time you didn't agree to anything, right? It could be something like that is playing on, playing out. So just thread with caution. Um, this Queen of Pentacles. I am not really sure about this woman. I think she's. She feels that like she's trying to balance something out. But I don't think this is something that's genuine. I think there's some type of ulterior motive behind what this woman is doing. It could be for you to end up standing your ground. Like, not standing your ground anymore. I shouldn't figure out how to do that. It's like if she comes in and gives you this money, you're supposed to feel like, oh, we're friends now. Or they're trying to balance things out. But it's a tactic. Uh, it's a manipulative tactic to have you caught up in something, right? You're being advised to stand your ground and protect your new beginning, okay? Like Source is telling you, you have some type of new beginning coming in and you need to keep standing your ground until that new beginning is here, okay? You're a queen of cups. There could be a king of wands that wants to work with you. Someone that has been doing the healing work. Maybe he's taking some type of action to balance things out behind the scenes. Maybe you don't know this masculine, but he knows you. Someone may be traveling. Um, but someone has been doing a lot of planning. Whoever this king of wands is, is someone who's a planner. Someone very intellectual. Someone has foresight of a situation um, more so than people realize he could be planning on how to come towards you to give you some type of offer. This could be someone that you're not aware of, not in your environment, could be from another country, another city, state, whatever this is, but things will be balanced out like they're supposed to be balanced out. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. The universe wants you to know that you are secure. Yeah, you are absolutely secure. You're not going to lose anything. Um, but there's something where it's that people want to destabilize you so that you can be out here 
living in poverty, whatever this is. This King of Wands could be someone that's like a high-ranking official, could be like a higher fame energy within a community. Maybe someone has gone from being a little bit a little bit on the reckless side to being a little bit more traditional. So someone could be going through some type of healing if they are doing the work genuinely. If they're not you will know when this person comes towards you that they don't have any genuine intentions for you. Someone may be keeping their love interest at, uh, a secret right now. Uh, their emotions for you, the desires they have for you, like they're keeping that secret. The fact that they want to come together with you, work together with you. Someone may have a lot of compassion and a lot of emotions for you, and they're keeping that to themselves. Someone sees you as an empress. There's someone around them that's very pissed off that they even have because there's something, someone around them that's picking up on what's really going on. And this is some bitter energy that's very pissed off that this man has emotions for you or wants to even balance things out. Is paying attention to destiny or cares about destiny playing out now. There's a woman around this man that's very angry. Like, sh she's very angry because she know yeah, someone is very angry and afraid that this man is coming towards you to give you some type of offer or have some type of new beginning with you. And he's standing his ground, protecting himself. Something about your, I don't know if it's your exposure or your opportunities. There's something that's being protected for you. You may not know it. This is like a new offer, a new opportunity that's coming towards you that someone has been trying to block you from receiving, but it's being protected, okay? Uh, someone may be going on, I don't know if it's like a trip um, or something of that nature. Listen, there's too much going on. How, why, how do these people always have like A to Z kind of activities going on? It's that there's always some type of karmic situation going on. But someone is very angry. Yeah, this I told you, this is not someone you want to be bothered with. Dang. This Queen of Pentacles is not someone you want to be bothered with. This is someone that tells a lot of lies. This is someone that does a, that manipulates people. She plays a lot of mind games, uses a lot of words, word magic, and things like that. Someone thinks they're very crafty, but they're really just manipulative at the end of the day, and people can see through that now. They may have paid a queen of swords in reverse to cause some type of chaos. So this could be someone who's like a crooked, a crooked court official that's trying to do something um, illegal to you, or they're paying this person to do something illegal to you. There's some type of court case going on within a community, and it's not going in the favor of these people. It's almost like all the the bribery, the lies, the deceit, the extent that these people went through to block you from receiving something, to make something look like what it's not, to force something to go to um, a specific person within a community. It's all in vain. It's not working out. The court system is still balancing something out. There could be a whole family, a whole community going through some type of legalities right now, and it does not look like it's going in their favor. Things are being balanced out. There's a family that's just, they're out of sync. And I don't know if this is a blood family or a surrogate family, but there's something that's not playing out in their favor. The whole family feels way down and burdened. Uh, intuitively, they know something is not going to work out for them. There could be a high priestess in this community that knows the truth. I don't know if they're not choosing to tell these people the truth. But you as a high priestess, you already know that these people are way down and burdened. Like your, 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 your gift is overwhelming for these people. How much you know. And it, the, the fact that you're not even around these people and you know what it is that's going on with them is a burden. It's like your intuition, your gift is helping bring the puzzle pieces together. So people may be paying someone in the court system to force something to go their way. It's not going to go their way. This family is very weighed down in burden. This could be a couple as well that's been doing too much out here. But these people, there's no friendship. They all feel beat down. They all feel worn out. They're trying to defeat a high priestess. The high priestess don't already won the battle, but the people that are coming up against this high priestess, this could be the mystic that they're trying to come after. The, the person already won the battle. They don't even know like the battle is already over and they're still trying to defeat the person. I've, can you imagine like 
you know, like two troops coming together to fight. One troop already won. The ones that lost, they don't realize they've lost and they're still there trying to fight someone. They're about fight me like a man. They say, you already lost the battle. Come on now. Something like that is going on. For these people, there's no friendship. There's no loyalty. There's no compassion, nothing amongst each other or for each other, let alone for you. So this is like, I don't know, sometimes they don't realize that's how they end up losing these uh, um, dark plans that they have for other people is because one, they don't even like each other. How are you going to work together when you don't like each other? There's no friendship, nothing. People are just manipulating each other. This is a community where everybody just manipulates everybody. It's a lot of lies. There's some. There's a queen of pentacles out here. All she does is lie. Lie to people. I don't know who this official is that they pay in the court system. But she's trying really hard or he's trying really hard to make things go in the favor of these people. And it's going to be something that backfires. Like their license may end up being on the line. I don't know how people go to school for all these years. Because I've heard it's very hard to be a lawyer. And even a doctor. I don't understand how people go to school for all those years just to end up like just disregarding their license. You want to tell me you took all that time to go to school for this just so you can destroy it yourself. All because of money. Because of money. And it's not even that big of an amount. It's coming from a knight of pentacles. You destroy your career for that. Hmm. Okay. Destroy their career for that. You went to school for all this just so you could destroy your life. Because people don't want someone receiving an offer. They don't want something being balanced out. That's all it has to do with. A six of pentacles. They're trying to stop. Like someone's doing a lot of manipulations behind the scenes to stop someone from balancing a situation out, giving to someone. They don't want this person coming towards you to give you an offer because they know this person is going to find out the rest of the sauce that they don't have, meaning the rest of the information, okay? But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye for now.